Hello and welcome to Let's Play James Bond 007 Everything or Nothing with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, we did some stealth! Yes, we did it successfully. Okay, we are only on the one, two, three, oh, third proper mission of the game of doing that, but we got to the end of the train, we defeated Jaws, we pushed him in some electricity and it seemed to do the job. Or did it? Who knows? But um, then James Bond just went off running into a corridor. I guess we should see what happens next. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this mission terribly much. Along with a really quite annoying Bond moment to get, the controls are not easy. <sighs> I'll moan after the cutscene. Let's just do Sandstorm. Who are you? I'm from MI6. The general is getting away with the NATO robots. I think we may be reaching the end of the line here. After you. Can we catch him? Can you fly this? Mr. You must destroy that helicopter, 007. The nanotech prototype cannot remain in enemy hands. Okay, here we go, catch up to the General's helicopter. First things first, you've got to have the Bond James Bond moment, there it was. Also, um, she really bugged me, the Danova, by saying nanorobots. I mean, surely it's just nanobots. Who says nanorobots? Lame. <laughs> okay, just before I forgot about that, that's what bugged me about that cutscene. Plus, you know, James Bond just shooting the gun right next to her wrist, it could have damaged, Gina could have hurt her wrist or something. Anyway, here is this mission. Here it is. So. We're in a helicopter, which is which is pretty nice, nice vehicle level up in the sky. Yet the controls are a pain in the backside. Before I've said that everything else about this game, more or less, um, has aged quite well uh, in the ten years it's it's been since it came out. The controls of this level have not, because to control this um, helicopter, if you imagine the thumbsticks of a PlayStation controller, the left thumbstick does up, down, turns left turns right. The right thumbstick goes forwards and backwards and that is, it seems simple but actually it's so different to how you expect the controls to be that I, I have a really bad time and I've practiced so much doing this and I still suck really badly so my usual tactic for this is just to hold forward because if I hold forward my mind seems to remember that the right thumbstick is forwards and I even think that I probably I may have, yeah, I may have inverted the um, the vertical. I think if it was off, oh yeah, that would be up and down. Would be up, would be switched, and I can't deal with that. No way, Jose. Put that back on. Thank you very much. Oh, so let's get started then. First thing I want to do is there should be a ship that is going to start shooting at us just around the corner. There it is. Let's uh, let's shoot that with a missile if we can. Oh no, that's a bomb. So on this helicopter, we've got. Is that destroyed? Yeah, good. We've got some bombs which you can drop, you know, chocks away, that sort of thing, like that. They're kind of difficult to aim though, so I just stick to the missiles, because they're easier. Right, so up, and forward, let's go. Ooh. Get rid of some things on the side which are going to try and kill us. Some flares may help to shake those missiles, 007. Thank you, Q. Yeah, L1, shoot some flares like that, which should distract some missiles, should we need to use it, which we probably will at some point. Here's our first bond moment around here to shoot this bridge. Like this. Oh yeah. Does that get... Oh uh, yeah, it gets rid of loads of enemies there. Alright, let's carry on moving. Keep thumbstick forward. I can do this. I can do this. There's a second boat down there. Get rid of that up there first and then get rid of you down there. Or miss. There you go. I think... they give you bombs because really you want to cons conserve your missile ammo. I mean, we've got 42. 
But I don't know. I, I seem to have enough anyway, even if I do spam it a bit. So, I don't know. Turn. Up. Shoot that helicopter. Shoot it. Okay, good. Right, I should use the flare there, but oh well. So there should be one more boat to get. It's three boats, and that's the second bottom moment, is to destroy all three boats. Like this. Okay, so they take two missiles each from far away. So that's may that's probably why you may want to use a bomb, is because they probably take one bomb and two missiles. So there's our second bomb moment, and the third one, as we go through here, which is Oh, so hectic. Things going off. Another helicopter. Up, 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 up. Where'd you go? Down, down, down. I may have shot him. I don't know. But uh, actually, I'll tell you about the third bomb moment in a minute. Oh, I can't keep up with this level. The music is so cramped and the controls. I mean, it's fun. Don't get me wrong, but my god. Difficult sometimes. Yeah. Right, where is this guy? General, come here. I won't do and don't worry, right now I'm going to use flares, so hopefully his missiles go to them instead. I like this bit. I like the tunnel bit. It's uh, not tunnel, temple bit even. Except for this last room, which is filled with uh, flamethrowers. And the last Bond moment is not You're to take... Pilot, Mr. Bond, but no match for me. Yeah, you say that, we're going to kill you eventually. Um, you can't take any damage from this last room full of fire, this one here. Because if you do, you don't get the bomb moment. So I've got to do this really, really carefully. Right, go now. Oh, damn it. Oh my god. Oh, I see how it is then. I see how it is, M. Perhaps I should send 009. Yeah, okay, M. Enough of your passive aggressiveness, please. Go. Next time I send 009. Yeah, bitch. Leave me alone. Let's do this. Okay, so. I'm not going to say too close to him, but not too far behind. Maybe I should go really close to him, though. I don't know. Let's just not get flamed, shall we? And go up. And then go... Stay up. We may have just got hit then. I don't think we've done it. Oh, we've done it! Oh, my God! We didn't get hit! Yes, let's do this then. Oh, forward. Get that damn general. That was so damn difficult. Pause it for a second. I've just got, to, just got to handle everything that's just happened. You would not believe how long it's taken me to get that damn third bond moment. Oh, it's so annoying because you can't tell where you are in relation to the flames. So you just have to hope for the best. Okay, so we made it anyway. Anyway, we made it. We caught up with the general. Eliminate the general by destroying general's secret base. I don't know how he thinks it's so secret when it rises from the ground like that. It's like um, it's like I even what's it? What's the thing called? Uh, the base from The Spy Who Loved Me. Stromberg's base, Atlantis. Okay, so I'm going to let off loads of flares so we don't get hit by missiles. And the point is, each one of those struts has a, uh, a shield generator on it, and we need to destroy it. Let's do this. Oh god, keep doing flares. I need to turn around and look at it. I think they take two missiles each, so that was no good. And this is probably why you need to uh, conserve your missile ammo. Yep, there's one. Let's do another one. Oi. There's two. And there's three. Okay, good. Now we can just attack him. Take this, General. Whoever the hell you are. Nearly dead. And he's gone. James, you saved my life. How can I ever repay you? Allow me to take you to dinner. Next time you're in London. I'd like that. 
But until then... Take that as a small down payment. Hmm. I look forward to collecting the rest. Good morning, darling. I deduced the mission was successful. All of the nanobots were destroyed, except for one. My gift to you, courtesy of MI6 and James Bond. Bond? James Bond? You know him? He killed Max Oren. My mentor, my teacher, my friend. I... I didn't know. I'm sorry. How ironic. Bond has now planted the seeds for his own destruction. Soon enough, the world will know and fear the name Nikolai Diavolo. You'll have everything you desire. Yes, Katya. Everything. Or nothing. So you're telling me I went through all of that pain, the controls and that final bond moment, only to find out that we've been betrayed by the one and only Catcher Nadanova. Oh my goodness. But hey, at least we got to see the uh, the first appearance of the, the main villain of the game, Nikolai Diavolo, played by... Um, Willem Dafoe, and I think they even got his, his likeness as well, he looks like him as well. And I, I, you know how I said before how they kind of take what they want from bits of Bond films? So you got Jaws who, surprise surprise, he's not dead! Um, they took him from uh, Roger Moore's uh, The Spy Who Loved Me, they kind of took the, the bass from uh, The Spy Who Loved Me, Stromberg's bass as I mentioned. They really like The Spy Who Loved Me, which is good, because it's my favourite Bond film. But then they also took um, Max Zorin, from A View to a Kill, which was Roger Moore's last Bond film. Not great, but but uh, Christopher Walken as um, Zorin was good. So it turns out that um, Diavolo's uh, mentor was Max Zorin. I just like how they're cherry picking. All these little pieces of Bond, you know, um, franchise bits and smushing it all together. It's, it's nice. I like it. Um, but yeah, let's have a look, see how we did for the Bond moments on this level, and just in general. So, yes, we got all three, thank god. So destroy the bridge was one of them, destroy all three uh, missile boats, and then get through that damn flame room without taking any damage. Who would have thought that ancient Egyptian temples would still have working flamethrowers in them? Hmm, but they do. Uh, enemy subdued, can't really look at that because it's all through... Uh, missiles and things like that. Can't do stealth kills in a helicopter. Accuracy was 92.8. Not terrible. But efficiency was... Oh dear. Only 23.8. Mm. And mission duration... Oh boy. Well, not that far over. 3 minutes 40. Hmm. Tricky. Tricky, but... Yeah. Which is interesting, actually, because the gold the gold uh, target for this is 160,000. So we have done that, thank God. But the platinum target, if you're playing on 00 agent, is to destroy the general's base in less than 45 seconds. So your target time for getting platinum would be 45 seconds. That's a bit crazy. Um, I'm so glad we're not doing those. But yes, if you wanted to know, there you go, that's platinum. But gold, I think we have got nice and nice and easily. There you go, gold, and I think Q's gonna tell us some things we've unlocked. The Spider Explorer. Our new field reconnaissance device. You're the first agent to use it, so do be careful, 007. It doesn't climb walls, but it can go places that you can't. Use it to explore ahead of you without being seen, or to retrieve certain objects. Oh, the Q spider. Yeah, we used this in the MI6 training. And I, I don't understand why the game does this. It, it, it tells you things in a weird order. Like, obviously, we've already seen the Q spider, but it tells us it now anyway. And I do love that little thing, the noise it makes, the fact it... Hang on a minute, it's only got six legs. That's not a spider. 
Lies, Q. What else do you have to say? We've added a strobe function to the coin grenades. The flash will stun anyone who sees it. Use this if you get into a tight spot and need to disable your enemies quickly. Hmm, grenades. I I tend not to use grenades too much, but I'll show them. Um, I'll try and use them more often, actually, but there's a grenade for you. The standard issue dart gun carries a fast action nerve toxin that will immediately render anyone you hit unconscious for a few hours. Its range is limited, though, so you'll need to be careful using it at range. Yep, there's some more stealth options for us using a sleeper dart. I guess we'll have to use that at some point. I, in fact, I think there's some bond moments to do with them. Um, Sleeper dart, so we'll definitely be using that at some point. We've upgraded the Cayenne with a cloaking device, 007, which will make you temporarily invisible to your enemies. It has a limited battery life, though, so use it sparingly. Uh, Q cloak. Anything that reminds me of Die Another Day. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We'll use it if we have to, but oh. God, the Vanquish. No, sorry, was it the Vanish? Oh, I don't know, it was terrible. Your Cayenne has now been outfitted with a remote control device, 007. It can be deployed to scout ahead, and the onboard laser can be used to help you access hard to reach areas. Yeah, so this is basically the uh, Q Spider for your car. It doesn't actually get used terribly much in the game, if I recall correctly, maybe a couple of times. But when we do use it, it's pretty fun, and I think we'll be using it in the next mission, actually. Oh, and there's... Oh my god, that's creepy. She looks like the Joker or something. Um, there's some more production stills, concept art, whatnot. I think it's time to save. Well, there we are then. Thank god that's all over. We've now finished Sandstorm. Oh. And actually, we might as well um, include the MI6 interlude in this episode. It's basically just a cutscene um, telling you this is what I mean, it tells you in a weird order. It's going to tell us all of what Q just said, again, but in a nice um, cutscene fashion. Now, I, I will warn you, any any young children watching, the following scenes may be a little bit scary for you, simply because of how they rendered M, Judy Dench, in this game. If this gives you nightmares, I'm sorry. Just, just, just close the video now, because it, it may well do that, okay? Um, but then we also get to see Q, John Cleese, and his lovely assistant, and once again, see what things we have to use in the missions, the gadgets to use. So let's have a quick watch. Double O Seven, welcome back. Nice to see you again, Em. Excellent work rescuing Dr. Nadanova, Double O Seven. However, we have a new crisis on our hands. We've lost contact with 003. He was in Peru investigating Nikolai Diavolo, a KGB agent so ruthless that the KGB itself tried to have him terminated. Unfortunately, they failed. Diavolo's control, his teacher, was Max Zorin. Yes, we once played bridge together. He lost. We believe 003's life may be in danger. Come on my way to Peru. And don't forget to stop by Q Branch on your way out. Good morning, Q. Ah, 007, we have some new equipment for you. Have you met my new assistant, Miss Nagai? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. And you won't, if I have any say in the matter. Now, pay attention, 007. This is your remote control spider cam. You can use it to scout ahead. A spy disguised as a spider? Frightening. Thanks for the tip. Strobe grenades. You can use them to blind your enemies. Brilliant. And this is your new dart gun. It knocks your enemies out instead of killing them. How thoughtful. Now, 007, do try to return this equipment in pristine condition. I'll do my best. That's what I was afraid of. introduce you 007 to the Triumph Daytona 600 motorcycle, the Q-Bike. These are now standard issue for all 00 agents and feature front-mounted rapid-fire rockets. 
There's also a weapon storage compartment in the front fairing for when things get up close and personal. And we've counterweighted it to give the rider the ability to lay the bike flat, thereby avoiding any low-hanging obstacles. I expect to see this returned in perfect condition, 007. I mean it. Okay, it's over. M's gone. You can come back now. Oh. Oh, I'm glad. But by the way, that line by Bond, we played again with Ridge, he lost. Oh, so good. Love it. If you've seen A View to a Kill, you understand why that's sort of funny, because they, they battled on the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, and that's where he maybe died. Mm, I won't give any spoilers. Um, He died. But... Yeah, I, I, it's weird. Lots of um, lots of weird cuts in that in that cutscene, uh, which I probably edited out. Lots of loading screens, but um, some of it does seem quite redundant. I guess they just wanted to make a, a video of some of the stuff. But man, oh man, M's not M. Sorry, Q's. Um, I mean it at the end there. That's horrible. It's like being told off by your parents or something. Just the way you said that. I mean it. Ooh, okay, Q. We'll, we'll look after your stuff. Maybe, probably not. But um, yeah. So that's all that done and dusted. Uh, we can move on to the sort of second part of the game. I see the game's being split up sort of like that was the first part, chasing um, Nadanova. Now we're moving on to Diavolo and 003 and trying to work out where he is and what's happened to him. So next episode we'll be doing Serena Saint Germain. This mission pretty good. I like this one. So until next time, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.